So hey guys, today we are going to be reviewing this 2024 Ford Maverick XLT. Now, as you can see, when you come onto the front end, you have this Ford logo with the blacked out grill. It has the orange accents up over here. And then we have these LED headlamps with the turn indicator over here. And this is how the front looks. And then, and then as you can see, we have the wench over here to tow stuff and now when we come onto the side we see this painted gray alloy wheels with the orange accents we have 17 inch tires up at the front and over on the rear and now as you can see here's the XLT badge because this is the Ford Maverick XLT and now you can see it has the tremor package that's why it has the orange accents tremor badging and now when we move over to the back we can see this cool tail light design with the indicator i just wanted to show you guys one more thing so when you lock it if you saw it has the red turn indicators which are common and this is the backlight this is the indicator backlight and then this is its tailgate it's here we have the Ford badging. It says Maverick down there and the Tremor badge. And then we do have a backup camera. And then that's the rest of the rear. And it even has a tow hitch below. I just want to mention, if you are enjoying my videos and would like to see more videos like this, I recommend you subscribe to my channel because I bring content every single week. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and help me bring more content for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I would like to, I would like to give a shout out to State College of Ford who let me spend some time with this Maverick so I can film it for you guys. When we come on to the back, we see this navy blue accent in here, but it's hard plastic. Hard plastic. We have a little bit of soft touch down here. And then we have storage space. We have like cup holder, a little bit storage space, power window controls, the black opening handles. And then now when we come onto the seats, you can see we have this, we have headrests for each of the three seats. And then we have these cloth seats. And now let's pop up at the front, right, and then soft touch over here, hard plastic, cup holders, bottle holders, and then the all four power window controls and the window adjustment controls. And then as you can see, this is its key fob. We have the Ford logo up in the center, and then we have the lock and lock remote start and the panic button. And then... As you can see, it's a flip key. Pop. Let's see the tailgate. And as you can see, it drops right down. It's a little heavy. And then you can see the massive bed that it has. It has a 4.5 foot bed. And then as you can see back there, we have the Ford logo and Maverick written on it. And then now we can just hold this up and close this. And then... You can see we have this blacked out door handles. We have this blacked out mirror caps. And then it comes with the blind spot monitor. And then as you can see, this is this lifts right up. And as you can see, under the hood, we have a 2-liter EcoBoost 4-cylinder engine that produces 250 horsepower and then 277 pound-feet of torque. And, and then it gets 20 miles per gallon in the city and 24 miles per gallon on the highway. Yeah. And then as you can see, the window sticker, it says the total MSRP for this is $36,655 before taxes and fees. The base price is... $26,000 but over that we have options for $8,000 that is we have equipment group for $2,000 and then we have the tremor off-road package that costs $3,500 and then some other additions as you can see we even have the XLT luxury package for $2,275 
and then the copilot 360 for 650 dollars and yeah that's the window sticker with the price and then this is an all-wheel drive for you guys wondering and then now let's see when we come onto the seats we have these cloth seats that has orange stitching all over a tremor written on them due to the tremor off-road package and then we adjustable seats it's an eight-way power adjustable seat and then if we pop in you can see uh, we have the light controls to control the lights automatic high beams and then the levels and then as you can see you see this is the pop-out key so it goes in there to start and then as you can see we have a little bit of storage space here we have an 8 inch infotainment system we have physical controls for the volume to uh, on off the infotainment system change track and then it shows a forward animation this is its touch screen and then we have this change the track sound and hazard light button automatic start stop then we have these ac vents and we have we can control the blower speed the air conditioning speed and then the climate control over here and for you guys wondering this has the heated steering wheel and it has the heated seats and then when we come down here we have a usb a and a usb c port we have a 12 volt socket and we have a good amount of storage space down here we have two cup holders and this is our automatic gear shifter which is unique to ford cars as many of you know and then this is our electronic parking brake this is for the off-road tremor mode and then we have some buttons for the four-wheel drive so like real locking differential stuff like that and then i really like the trim over here i really like the trim on the armrest it's soft touch and as you can see deep size armrest down there then over here this is soft touch i like the trim on the dash soft touch down here like this and then as you can see this is our glove box you can see pretty deep storage space in our glove box and then those are the rear as and you can see we have, we have an analog gauge cluster that shows all the speed we have the speedometer and then we it shows the speed manually as well we have the lock and lock button and the handle to open the door that's the interior overall and as you can see we have a sunglass holder up over here we have lights over here we have a soft good headliner and then we have we have the vanity mirror with the sun screen shades and then we have a grab handle here to get in and yeah now you can see it clearly as you can see back here we have this and yeah as you can see i have popped up the rear and you can see it's it looks like a small truck but i have but as you can see i have more than enough headroom and this legroom back here is good enough this seat is all the way to the back if i do move it forward I should have good amount. I just want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single week. And comment, like, and share. It would help me a lot. Thank you so much for watching.